Like any city centre library, there has always been a problem with homelessness and people who will use the library because it's a warm, safe space. But we'd reached a crisis point. At that time, I was negotiating with Citizens Advice Bureau and thinking and talking about how they could work in the library as a, an addition to the information offer that we had here by supplying advice. In reach was the idea that by being based in this building and, uh, and uh, having relationships with the staff that we would then be able to build up a customer clientele. It was a real opportunity for us to be invited along and be able to reach people who until then we hadn't been able to reach. We work in hostels, we work in um, health centres, homeless health centres, but we never had the opportunity to come in here. Uh, every Thursday afternoon I walk around the uh, Mitchell Library seeking people out and talking to the staff to see if there's MD that's a homeless or in a very poor state of health and then I approach them and try to introduce myself and say that I'm from the Citizens Advice Bureau and uh, I would like to help them. I build up trust every week, hopefully they'll eventually say oh yes and then I can help them solve their problems or point them in the right direction. Yeah, Pat's been great, probably the, the best choice to, to have going around the library because he's, he's so friendly, so cheery. The staff have, have really bought into it and have really come into it and we can see the value of it, the benefit of having this facility here. These are possibly clients who would never have thought there was anything in this building that was for them, that they were allowed through the doors even. Whereas once they are here, we then have the opportunity to meet with them, explain what we can do for them, sign them as members and introduce them to library services and all the many ways that we could help them enrich their lives. I was sitting in the library, very sad. Pat approached me in person and he said, is there anything that we can do for you? For me, he is of great help. Before I was in the night shelter also, and now I'm getting some financial assistance from the government. That is a great difference. Often people don't know their rights. Often they think that this is the way life has just dealt them the cards and, well, they have to get on with it. But people do have rights and when you see Homeless people moving on, it can take several months, a year, maybe longer, and then you hear they have a house, they're settled. Um, it's, it's very satisfying, yeah. I've seen some people since that, that now have a home, that, uh, that health has improved, you know. Um, this is all as a result of citizen advice having a presence here and us having a good relationship with them. Something libraries have needed for a long, long time and haven't had. This is probably the best project I think we've ever ever worked with um, and ever had a partnership with. It's been so valuable and I think everybody's been able to see to see that.